Hello artists, today we are going to create texture rubbings. Texture is the way something feels. A texture rubbing is created by taking different found objects and putting it underneath the paper and rubbing the paper on top with a pencil or crayon. And we are going to create different designs or even different pictures using some of the things that you find around you. I have a bunch of things that I gathered, um, some coins and the lid to my pop socket. Um, even I found an old necklace that had a little bit of bumps to it. So we want something that has a lot of texture. So I'm grabbing a few things that I found around me, even a comb. And I'm going to think about what they look like. This one I borrowed. It's a Lego. Think about what these shapes could look like if they were kind of abstract when they're like underneath a piece of paper. And I'm going to gather just like any type of paper, a copy paper or a lined paper will do, and gather my supplies and think of what way they can be used. I see mine being, I could make it, you know, if I repeated the shapes and made a robot, I could see it as a landscape with the sun and different kind of buildings and different this could even be the grass and this would be the sun and a bird flying around um or i could just do really cool rubbings and not worry about it and explore it by using um you know an abstract picture and just kind of repeating the shapes it's a lot of fun so i'm going to start out my favorite one to do is a circle i'm going to put it under my page and i'm going to take my crayon and just kind of rub the crayon over the circle. And I'm holding it down to make sure that it doesn't move. So this might be the beginning of the inside of a flower. I can move it over and make two eyes. It's your creativity that can make this texture rubbing fun. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I could even use pencil if I don't have crayons, that's cool. Markers don't work as well that I've noticed, but I'm gonna try using this. I'm going to take my penny and put it under and make this my nose and I'm going to use a pencil to see what happens and look at that the penny is showing up on the page it's pretty cool I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better and for a mouth I think I'm going to use my comb and this time I'm going to switch because I'm just trying to find different um, things I can use let's see I think I have another crayon sitting around here at my place and I'm gonna it's kind of like a robot oh look and it was on an angle it's kind of funny so I made it like a guy with a crazy mouth now I can keep going and just filling in the page and making it kind of fun with lots of different shapes going around I could maybe look at what I have right now and add some funny things to it like oh yeah this is a different kind of new creature with a really cool sideways thing. Actually, that could have even been a, a guitar. <laughs> um, so it's up to you to come up with all the creativity and make it something really neat. You can add even more textures around it too. This was the one I was begging my kid for. I'm going to put that down. And I could kind of keep it realistic or realistic-ish and add the um, textures and around some kind of shape I already started. Maybe I'd start with like a heart and it textures inside and out. Maybe I would make it a silly kind of creature or maybe even a landscape. This one, I really see a landscape. Like this is a building, another building. Maybe this is like a fence. If you look really close, I actually went up to my dishwasher and it said KitchenAid. Isn't that neat? So if you find bumpy things around wherever you're at, you might be able to come up with a really cool picture. You might use a pencil, and when I use it with pencil, it's kind of fun because you can rub the, the textures onto it, and then it kind of looks like it's a shadow. Um, and then you could take it afterwards and add even more shadows around it, just kind of adding a darker line or different patterns around it that you want to add to it so many things that you can do with this it's lots of fun so i would love to see what you make by having you take pictures after you make your texture rubbing um and send them to me on google classroom that would be super fun and i hope you have a lot of fun finding textures and exploring the fun of texture rubbing